Hello. Hi, Michelle. Hi. It's Dr. Ryle. So, Mike, I understand um, that you requested a telehealth visit for some shortness of breath and cough with some chest tightness. Yes. Mike, I want you to check your pulse. So to do that, you're gonna use your fingers of one hand and you're gonna put it on your wrist, right at the base of your thumb. Can you see me? There you go. And you should be able to feel your pulse. Tell me when you've got it. Can you find it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna time how many times your heart beats in the next 15 seconds. What I want you to do is I want you to count each time you feel a heartbeat. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Go. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, stop. Very good. So about 16 times in 15 seconds. So we'll do the math on that. Looks like your heart's beating about 64 times a minute. That's nice and slow. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I'm going to count how many times you breathe. So this is called a respiratory rate. So to do this, I want you to take your arms and cross them and put them on the opposite shoulders. Okay, and you just sit there and relax, and I'm just going to count your breathing rate. Okay, you can get your arms down and just breathe normal. So your respiratory rate was just around 16, which is a normal respiratory rate. I note that you are speaking in complete sentences and you don't look like you're getting short of breath when you're speaking to me. Michelle, have you noticed that he's been running out of air when he's speaking? Uh, no. All right. And then I'm looking at your skin tone and you don't look pale or blue. Have you noticed any change in the color of your skin? No. How about you, Michelle? Have you noticed any? Okay, so I want to do one more deep breath. I want to see you take a deep breath in and breathe out. Don't hold it. Don't hold it. it. Just deep breath in and out. Okay. And in and out. Okay, so I noticed that your expiratory time is a little bit longer than your inspiratory time. So we can see that in COPD. And I know that you have a peak flow at home. Have you been using your peak flow meter? Yes, this. Yeah, and so Michelle, um, where has he been scoring on his peak flow meter compared to where he is normally? Is he in the red zone or the yellow zone? He looks like he's in the yellow zone. Yellow zone. That's helpful for us to know. Um, if someone's in the red zone, we may want to get a chest x-ray or send you to the hospital, to the emergency room, or even bring you into the office for a visit so that I can listen to your lungs and do a more thorough evaluation. As I now want to check the swelling on your legs. I want to see any indentation that the socks are making on your leg. There we go. Oops, sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Okay, so I see I see the little indent there. And Michelle, can you put your thumb right across his chin bone and just sort of hold on for me? And let go. Okay, so a little bit of swelling there. It looks like it's traced to one plus pitting of the distal shin and ankle. All right, Mike, so I think that you basically have a viral infection that's gotten down into your chest. Since you're having increased cough, but you're not coughing up more sputum, and you're not coughing up a larger volume or purulence, no green or yellow sputum, um, and you are not 
squeezing, I don't think that you need any steroids or any antibiotics for this bronchitis. I think that you probably have a viral bronchitis in your chest, and I would recommend that you use an over-the-counter cough syrup for this. Okay. Do you have any questions about this? We can talk to our pharmacist about that. Yes. And the pharmacist will have a list of his medicines that he takes by prescription and can recommend a good over-the-counter cough syrup for him that won't interfere with any of his medicines. Okay, good. Um, if, you're, if you have diabetes, they can recommend like a sugar-free cough syrup and sort of tailor their recommendation to your chronic diseases. Okay, good. Okay, now Mike, I'm available anytime by phone and you can contact me via the patient portal. If you contact me via the patient portal, it might take me a day or two to get back to you. So if you start feeling sicker and you feel like you need to be seen, please call the office and leave that message. Okay. If it doesn't go away, you just let me know. All right, good enough. All right, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.